What if this computer system unit could be replaced by your phone someday? Yes, it's possible. This is the future. You could simply connect your phone to a screen and get a desktop mode like this. And if you use smart glasses and connect your smartphone, you won't need a small screen. It's the ultimate display for adding digital things to what you see. You could do everything your phone can do and more with a setup like this. Today, we're going to talk about the future of mobile desktop mode and the AR VR experience with mobile phones. Android 16 introduces a new desktop mode that can transform your phone into a PC when connected to an external display. This feature, which is built on the foundations of Samsung DeX, allows for a desktop-like environment with a taskbar, resizable windows, and multi-app multitasking. It's not enabled by default and requires a USB-C cable that supports video output. A few years ago, Samsung introduced an expensive DeX setup like this. I'm pretty sure very few people cared about that and experienced that. This setup allowed users to connect their phone to a monitor and experience a desktop-like environment. All the secrets in this pot-like gadget. I experienced this with a Bluetooth-connected keyboard and mouse. After that, Samsung made the device smaller with a USB-C to HDMI special cable. Now, a regular USB-C cable is all you need to use DeX. This shows how quickly technology can evolve, transforming from a large, expensive device into something much smaller and more accessible. Mirroring your phone to any screen is common these days. Get an Android or iPhone. Connect it via a USB-C cable to your screen. Most screens have a USB-C port these days. If not, try a USB-C to HDMI cable and connect. This is called phone mirroring. It simply shows your phone's screen on the connected big screen. Android desktop mode is not just a mirroring you phone. It's a feature similar to Samsung DeX allows you to transform your phone into a desktop-like experience when you connect it to an external display like a monitor. Instead of simply mirroring your phone screen, this mode provides a full desktop interface with a taskbar and support for resizable windows. Android 16 is expected to standardize this feature, making it a native and widespread capability for more Android phones that have a USB-C port with video output. How to enable desktop mode and connect your phone to big screen. Most modern Android phones that support desktop mode use the DisplayPort alternate mode over a USB-C port. You'll need a compatible Android phone and external monitor or display with an HDMI or USB-C input, a USB-C to HDMI adapter or a USB-C dock that supports video output, a dock is often better as it provides additional ports for power and Bluetooth or wired keyboard and mouse. Once you connect your phone to the monitor, the desktop mode automatically launches, displaying a different interface on the external screen while your phone's display can either go black or function as a touchpad. Android 16 introduces a new desktop mode that transforms your phone or tablet into a full-fledged computer when you connect it to an external display. This feature provides a seamless and productive experience, much like using a traditional desktop operating system such as Windows or Mac OS. Here are the key features of the new desktop mode, multi-window management. You can now open, move, and freely resize multiple app windows on the external monitor. This is a significant upgrade from simple split screen or single app views and is essential for effective multitasking. Independent displays. The phone and the external display work independently. This means you can have different apps running on each screen simultaneously, allowing you to use your phone for calls or texts while working on the desktop display. Desktop-like interface. The external screen shows a familiar desktop environment with a taskbar at the bottom. The taskbar displays your running apps and gives you quick access to your favorite pinned applications. Extended workspace. If you're using a tablet, 
The desktop session can be extended across both the tablet screen and the external display, creating a larger, continuous workspace for more room to work. Enhanced App Compatibility Google has improved how apps behave on external displays. New compatibility treatments ensure that even older apps look and function correctly, making it easier for developers to support the feature. Productivity Tools The new mode fully supports standard keyboard shortcuts like Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V, mouse interactions, and allows for features such as drag and drop to share data between apps. This is the ultimate entertainment experience on a big screen. You can play movies on the big screen and use your phone simultaneously without any issues. If you want to play a game, just connect your controller like this. And if you like to play games, some phones can be used as a controller in this way. When I use my VR headset, my PC wirelessly streams its screen to the headset. I use a certain kind of router to do this without any problems. It works like a real screen added to the real world with very low latency. If a phone can be connected to a screen in this way, we call it wireless desktop mode. I have already experienced the Android desktop on Samsung, Honor, and Pixel devices without any issues. As of now, the iPhone does not have a true desktop experience. Modern smartphones are powerful, enabling people to do most of their daily tasks on a single device. The performance of these devices is now sufficient for a wide range of activities, from educational and professional work to content creation, gaming, and entertainment. This has led to a significant shift in how people use technology, with many now relying on their mobile phone as their primary computing device. As a result, very few tasks are exclusive to a computer, making the smartphone an all-in-one tool for the digital age. These days, we do not always need powerful computers or big devices, because most of the heavy work can be done in the cloud. For example, instead of keeping large files on your computer, you can store them safely in cloud storage. If you like playing games, you don't need a high-end graphics card anymore, because cloud gaming lets you play with only a normal device and internet connection. The same goes for video editing. You do not need a super fast computer. Apps like CapCut Online allow you to edit videos directly in the cloud. This shows how many apps and tools are moving to the cloud, making life easier for everyone. In the future, this trend will grow even more. Almost every type of office or school work already has a cloud app version, from writing documents to creating presentations. Artificial intelligence, AI, will also become stronger and run mainly in the cloud, so we can use its power without needing expensive hardware. This means the future is about easy access. With just an internet connection, you can work, study, play, or create without worrying about your device's limits. The cloud will handle the heavy work for us. Phones today are highly portable, letting people work anywhere. Imagine this. Instead of carrying heavy laptops, you just need a phone. When you want a larger view, simply connect your phone to a big screen. No need to transfer files. Everything is already on your device. For office workers, one screen at home and another at the office is enough. Just plug in and continue work. For students, a home screen and the classroom screen give the same advantage. This makes multitasking and productivity easier, while keeping your setup light, simple, and efficient with just one powerful, portable device, your phone. Now you can see, it's easy. Without carrying a big laptop or tablet, more people prefer to bring just their phone to do the tasks I mentioned earlier. 
and in the future, life will be even easier like this. This is a VR headset. We can see a very large screen anywhere we want, just like this. Soon, we will be able to enjoy the same VR slash AR experience using smart glasses. So in the future, we may only need a smartphone and smart glasses. By connecting them like this, we can enjoy an experience like this. No need for a physical keyboard. You can control everything with your fingertips. This will be the ultimate tech gear of the future. Work like this. Play games like this. 99% of the things I mentioned in this video are already in the market. The rest can be experienced, but are still in the research or development phase. Very soon, all of this will become normal for us. What do you think? The ultimate tech gear of the future could be a phone plus smart glasses, or maybe just smart glasses alone. Or do you have another idea in mind? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. And please let us know your phone brand and model. Have you tried desktop mode? Does it work or not? And share your tips, your comment will help others. Don't forget to subscribe to CyberHQ. If you haven't already, go to YouTube and search for CyberHQ to subscribe and click the notification bell. You can also follow CyberHQ on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll be back soon with more new videos like this. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and anyone who loves to learn about new tech.